It's 1 a.m. and I ain't tired. I can stand right here and talk all night if you want. I ain't got no place to be, no one's waiting for me. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel for another Valentine's Day Decorate with me. And this time I'm gonna be sharing a wonderful dessert you can make for your loved ones on Valentine's Day, as well as the famous Marry Me Chicken, which I do have a little alternative way of doing it, so definitely stick around to see how I do it. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson, and I love to do all things homemaking, cooking, cleaning, decorating, and DIYs. And I would love it if you would subscribe, and if you're returning, it is so great to see you. Okay guys, let's get into this amazing day of decorating and cooking for Valentine's Day. Okay guys, it's another day in paradise. So today we are going to be doing a couple things. I'm gonna make um, two different recipes. One is my cheesecake in a jar, and the other is going to be the best brownies you've ever had in your whole life. They're so good, very simple to make if you're looking to give somebody some sweets. These are great options. The next thing we're gonna do, I wanna decorate the refrigerator today. I also wanted to put some hearts up in this area. I'm still kind of figuring this room out. I finally put some sh candy in our little candy jar over there, but big project today. So I am going to take all these balloons and do something with them. I also have a little sign here. This is kind of like a little staging area for all my stuff for the neighbors because we're going to do the um, little hugged thing. I'll talk about it in another video. And then, yeah, no, this is just like reality of the mess that is my life. So here's my thought for today. Excuse me, balloons. I stayed up last night and blew all these up and put little strings on them. And I'm thinking of taping them or gluing them, we'll probably tape, uh, up on the wall and kind of like creating like a cascading thing where like the kids can, hold, it's like they're holding the balloons. I thought that'd be really cute. The space is so boring that it just needs some love. So I thought we would try that. I don't know how to get up there. So, um, like the farthest I can get up is like in that area. So it's, I don't know what to do. But we're gonna figure this out together because I don't totally know what to do and I forgot to lock the top of that. Okay, sorry, side side note. Um, so we're gonna do that. And then I was gonna put some hearts up the stairs. You guys know that I use Beyond Paint. I think I either have already shared Capital One um, or maybe I haven't, but I'll, I will talk about them in a minute. But anyway, of like how you can save and get cash back if you guys are gonna use the Beyond Paint. Um, they usually have great discount codes, but I'm starting to hate this black and I'm wanting to go back to white. So I think I'm going to order the white beyond paint and, um, and repaint this entire thing because I'm just, I don't know guys, tell me what you think in the comments down below. I just feel like it just so like, it's like giving the stairs a lot of energy and I'm like, you need to shh, be quiet. All of you too loud. So might paint this all white. I think it'll look really pretty. Um, I don't know why I did this black. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I was trying to go in that modern direction and uh, yeah, we're not gonna do that. So anyway, we're gonna put these up. I think it's look very cute. I don't know how I'm gonna get up there. I wish my husband was at home so he could help me, but um, I might be able to figure out. I think this ladder goes flat, but I don't, I kind of don't wanna die today. So. Um, we're gonna do that and then I am going to head into the kitchen. I have three recipes for you today and then we're gonna be making Marry Me Chicken. Uh, I do it a different way than the famous Pinterest uh, version, so definitely stick around to check that out. And then this weekend is Charlotte's birthday. I have started kind of compiling all her stuff, so um, I will definitely be taking you guys along with me for that. And the front yard is all done. If I haven't already shown that video, here's a sneak peek. But yeah, all right, let's, uh, yeah, let's get decorated. When you talk, listen close. There's just something about your voice. I think that every word you say to me is Get started on this project. I'm going to start taking a little bit of tape and adding these balloons to the wall. I kind of want to make it cascading down and then the kids can hold it and kind of look like they're floating away. I just think it'd be very cute. I saw something kind of similar on Pinterest and so I'm going to try to do it my own unique way. 
I really want to do a lot more DIY crafting in 2023. I feel like I've done a little bit and it was more so like decoring, but not actually doing DIY crafts. This year, if you guys saw my other video for Valentine's Day, I did a DIY kind of like frame the door and some really cute uh, Valentine's Day decor, but I want to get some more inspiration. I do look at Pinterest quite a bit um, for ideas for like dinner and things like that, but I think I want to do more like for Easter. I want to do more DIY, like little cute things for the kids. I did a lot more in my, uh, you know, must do Valentine's day traditions video. If you guys haven't seen that already, definitely go see it. I know Valentine's day is almost here and gone, but you can also do these lovely things throughout the entire year for an anniversary or a special date night or really anything or time you want to spend with someone you love. So I would highly recommend checking out that video. I just love how this turned out. I have the cutest pictures of my kids holding on to these balloons. I just think it's so cute and festive. Now for the stairs, I wanted to just hang some cute little um, strings of hearts. These kept falling down, so I'm probably not going to do this next year. Or you know what? Looking back, I probably should have taped this instead of just hanging them, but I still love that look of like the heart with the black stripes. I just think it turns out really cute. I have a couple more videos I'm going to do, um, one of which is my front yard decorate with me for Valentine's Day. I went a little over the top, but I always love this season. I will put a playlist at the end of this video. If you guys want to watch all of the Valentine's Day decorations I've done over the years, I always kind of go over top. I just feel like it's the season of spreading love, and I am going to also be doing a video of all my favorite traditions. If you're new here, we have four children um, ranging between six years old and 11 years old. And I really love making everything very special. I hope when my kids are older and they have children that some of the traditions and special things that I do uh, for them and have done for them since they were babies, they kind of pass on to their children and their children and their children. So I will be doing a whole video on kind of how to do that special stuff for your family, for your neighbors, your, your friends, your brothers, sisters, whatever. And I think you guys will love it. It's a very unique way of doing it. I also do something kind of similar for um, St. Patrick's Day. So definitely hit the subscribe button because I kind of go over the top for that. The other thing I'm working on right now, and I'm like two weeks away from being done because I actually did the program myself, but a 30 day um, kind of like reset for yourself. So I feel like Valentine's Day is another time of the year where, you know, you can give yourself all the self-love and care so that you can give love to others. So definitely stick around. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss those. So now that we're done decorating, I want to add a little sweet touch to tonight's dinner. So I wanted to share this recipe. I have never shared it on my channel before, but it is my brownie recipe. And I have to tell you hands down, this is, these are the best brownies you will ever make in your life. I will put a free printable down below if you guys want to download this recipe. It's very simple to make. I'm going to be doing it in a heart shape, but then I'm also going to be cutting them into little mini hearts. But to get started, we're going to take uh, one cup of butter. We're going to melt that in the microwave for 30 seconds. We're going to add about one half cup of cocoa to a bowl. This is, I use cocoa powder. You can kind of do whatever you want, but this is the way I like to do it. Then we're going to add two cups of sugar, kind of mix that up. A lot of times the chocolate comes out clumpy, so you want to make sure that you give it a nice mix. I've been using a whisk for years. It just makes it a lot easier, but you can obviously use kind of like a hand whisk as well or one of the um, electric ones. Then we're going to be adding four eggs, and I like to use fresh vanilla bean. If you get it, I get it from Trader Joe's. I think majority of everything I'm using today is from Trader Joe's, uh, so if you guys are looking for that, definitely check out their spice section. Then we're going to add our butter. Just give that a really healthy mix before you add your flour. Once you get the flour in, this is my favorite secret. I use dark chocolate mini morsels and I'll use about 
I don't know, maybe a third cup of this. I don't want it to be too much, uh, but you will find that once the brownies actually get cold and are room temperature, you bite in and those little morsels get hard again and they're like little surprise treats in your brownies. So all we're gonna do is add that to the pan, throw that in the oven for 20 minutes, we'll take it out. I'm gonna cut it into cute little hearts and then I'm going to actually gift those to the neighbors when we drop off our hugged baskets. Again, if you wanna see that video, you're gonna have to subscribe. After we're done with this, I'm gonna share my favorite recipe. If you are trying to win someone's heart this Valentine's Day, you're gonna to wanna to try to make this for them. It is so good. I just want you for my own. It's really easy to tell that you're the best girl I've ever known. I'm not gonna waste this. What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? When you give me that smile, I think my heart's turning up the pace. What we do if I get to be with you What you wanna do now wants to be afraid of when we're young so before we get into the Marry Me Chicken, I have to say this is not my recipe, although I did tweak it a little, but I, I read online that it was a food editor, I think for Delish Magazine, that made this first. But really great, funny story if you guys wanna look it up. So all we're gonna need today is some chicken, butter, heavy whipping cream, Parmesan cheese, sun-dried tomatoes. I love the ones from Trader Joe's because we're gonna actually be using the oil from it. Um, and then flour and some seasoning. So to get started, I'm gonna take some flour. I'm gonna dredge the chicken with a little bit of salt and pepper. I want to tap some of that excess flour off. You don't want them to be, we're not trying to make fried chicken. We're just trying to give it a nice coating because we're going to actually um, fry this in butter and olive oil. So what I like to do is just tap most of that off and then I'll set it aside because we're going to actually bring that over to the stove top. But I'm using um, a majority of this. I will be making it Again, we have four kids, so a lot of times I will make recipes that can be altered for the children because not all of them are gonna eat this. So I'm gonna save some of that chicken, chop it up for the kids. In a cast iron skillet, go ahead and add your olive oil. I'm using about two to three tablespoons and your butter, again, two to three tablespoons. And we're just gonna cook our chicken one at a time. Once that's done, remove it, clean the pan out. We're gonna be adding the oil from your sun-dried tomatoes. This is one of my favorite parts. I don't see a lot of recipes doing this, but it's my favorite. And some butter, kind of start to clean off the bottom of the pan, and then we're gonna add our garlic. I kind of let this sit for about a minute just to get fragrant uh, and translucent. Then I'll be adding in the chicken stock. Let this simmer down for a good five minutes. That's way too much chicken stock, but what you want is the chicken stock to infuse into the garlic. Once you kind of feel like it's simmered down a bit, we're gonna add heavy whipping cream. Um, you can also use half and half if you are, um, if that's all you have. I prefer heavy whipping cream, but um, if you only have half and half, just double the Parmesan. Then we're gonna add our Parmesan. Really whisk this together. This is gonna be the base of your sauce and the flavors that you can smell with that beautiful garlic and the um, sun-dried tomato oil is so good. Then I'm just adding some oregano, some thyme, and some very little bit of red pepper flakes. If you're gonna make this for uh, without children, then you could probably use a little bit more. Then just go ahead and dump in your sun-dried tomatoes. Watch that beautiful color transform into a nice Valentine's Day red, and then we are going to sink in our chicken. Again, I'm saving some of this chicken for my children who will not participate in eating the Mary Me chicken, so that way I don't have to make two meals. I always do my recipes this way. I recommend it if you've got some picky eaters, which is okay. So once you have all the chicken in here, let that boil up. I'm using spinach uh, instead of basil. This dish calls for basil, but I prefer spinach. I like to eat basil in the summertime, and for whatever reason, I've just always done it this way, but you can definitely substitute the spinach for basil. Then go ahead and add it to a nice plate, open a delicious red wine. I highly recommend a Merlot with this, and go ahead and add some of those giblets on top. I absolutely love this dish. You make it for someone you love, make it for yourself. Who cares? I loved it. I had three pieces of chicken and it was delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Got a little inspiration on decorating. Don't forget to check out the Capital One shopping app. Guys, I want you to save some money, so definitely check that out. I've been using it and I love it. And if you guys want to have the best meal ever, try the Marry Me Chicken. 
It is a TikTok and Pinterest sensation, and I have to agree with all those lovely people who put it out there because it was mouthwatering good. Okay, guys, in the next video, we will be decorating the outside of our house, and it is going to be over the top, so don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video real soon. Bye!